He went to his daily work with unfailing regularity and found himself growing steadily wiser and better informed. His heart beat high at the thought of the important position which was likely to be open to him. And they gave me um, an opportunity in management and finally an opportunity to arrange to purchase the company some years later. Not many people do that anymore. Newark was a terrific area, very, very mixed. Different people living on different blocks. It was a United Nations, you know, we, we, we had it all there. My father was a working man. It was in the early 50s. I can remember the first time he made $100 for the week. The first time I ever had pizza. I think he, he bought a pizza into the house and made $100 that week. First vehicle I can remember was my father's truck. He would only buy a dollar's worth of gas. He was very straight, very, you know, terrific guy. I started working, real working, cutting lawns when I was a freshman in high school. And I've been working ever since, and I like it. I was not a good student. I wanted to get out of school. I had dreams that I wanted to hurry up and grow up. It was expected for me to go to college. I mean, um, my parents grilled that, and I really couldn't disappoint him to, in that regard. I worked full time, um, pretty much, and, um, and my parents helped me. In college, I, I, I shined. I did well in college and graduated from New York University where I, I'm, I'm proud of that. I went to work in a smelter in the port of Newark, New Jersey. It was called Revere Smelting and Refining. That was a man's job. It was um, very educational. Probably working the smelter in those years, probably learned more than I learned in college. I learned the discipline. I learned to how to respect a fellow worker. And then I learned um, a lot also uh, about the technology. And I've been in the same, same world ever since. Not necessarily the same company, but the same world ever since. He has uh, a purpose. He likes what he's doing. Just terrific guy, terrific guy. Well, you never know how high the mountain is that you're gonna climb. It really just takes hard work. And that's, that's what you hope that you instill in, in the younger people.